You know what we're gonna do? Color some fondant with some Master Elite, and I'll show you. Red Rose, I'm gonna be mixing into the fondant, and it's kinda cool. So unlike with gels where it gets sticky, all we do is put our color inside of here, and we watch the magic happen. We have a nice flat piece of fondant, keep folding it in. We wanna make sure that we don't get a lot of the color to come out. I can see that it's starting to come out, so I'll fold that piece back in. With gel colors, you would deal with a lot of stickiness. The Master Lead powders, it doesn't change the consistency. Master Leads need moisture fondant has it. It's going to take a few minutes and this is going to slowly start to intensify. Take this into a Ziploc bag and come back in about 15 minutes. It's a beautiful, just about red. So I'm adding a little bit more color. I'll wait another 15 minutes and we'll see how it comes out. Now that red is gorgeous. Now on to green. Again, create a little divot. That color right there is emerald. I know it doesn't look like it. When it activates, you'll see. And to get the desired color that I want, I'm actually gonna put emerald and mix a secondary color, blue spruce. Add a fourth of whatever I added as far as the green. And just like with the red, we're gonna fold it in, put it to the side and let it hydrate. And after all, I'm trying to get that poly color. <laughs> and like that, a great green. So we got a beautiful green, we got a beautiful red. And these colors came out phenomenal. Now that I have found it, what am I gonna do? I'll show you next. Let's make a bow out of fondant. For this bow, we're gonna to need to have some sort of straight edge, a measuring stick, a cutter, and a rod. Let's make sure that our edges are nice and straight. Using the straight edge, we're gonna go ahead and square it up. Then we're gonna measure off one inch incremental sections. And at the top. Now using our straight edge, line up the two marks that we had, and we cut. Make sure you're nice and flush up against the straight edge. It makes a tremendous amount of difference. We want to have a consistency across each and every bow. If one is lopsided, then the next one will also be lopsided. By marking it all the way down, we're going to guarantee that we have a nice, consistent width for the bow. Because these bows are one inches wide, go up five inches. So for every inch, you want to multiply it by five. Mark it. Mark it at five inches on the other side. You can also square it up to make sure it's nice and even and flush. And what I sometimes do is I take the ribbon on either side, lay it on the first one above it, just to ensure it's gonna be consistent, then I cut it straight across. Instead of having to measure it twice. The next step is to add a little bit of water. You just want the tiniest bit. Wet both sides of the bow, top and bottom. Pick up our bow, fold it in half, tamp it down and pinch it. We want to have a nice little taper. And then using some sort of rod, we're going to put our bow onto here and we're going to let it dry. The fondant, it's still slightly damp, so it can stick to your rod. So after about five minutes, move it back and forth to ensure that it breaks free. And one thing to remember, so if you think you're gonna need 20 or 30, you're gonna need 50 or 60. Always make extra, because guess what? It's fondant, it can break, and you're always gonna to wanna to have extra. We need these bows to be fully dried, because if we don't let them dry completely, they will collapse and not hold up their shape. You want no less than 12 hours for the bows to dry. However, I recommend 24. So think ahead. I want all these bows to be a shiny gold, so let's airbrush. Did you know you can make a metallic airbrush out of our luster dust? Let me show you how it's done. Using any kind of jar, slowly add your powdered color inside of there. I'm using this nice little funnel. It helps to keep the spillage down to a minimum. What I wanna do is tamp it down. I have about a third of the jar full of color. To that, I'm going to add two thirds liquid. That's gonna give me the perfect blend to make a wonderful metallic airbrush color. 
Using our color solution, I'm going to use that same funnel and fill it up. Now, shake! And you know it's done when all the powder on the bottom has completely dissolved. It's not quite there, but shake some more. Now, it's time to airbrush. Probably about 13 or 14 drops, only to where the reservoir is about half full. Typically, when airbrushing a cake, you're going to be doing it from a perpendicular position. You're going to be airbrushing the top of a cake. That's why you only fill it halfway. To ensure we have good color for our trigger back. And look at that. Perfect color. Another great tip, when airbrushing, put your hand underneath the hose to get it out of the way. When you want to start airbrushing the, the bows or any kind of project, remember, you never want to start directly on your surface because if you start on your surface, you're going to get a little dimple. You don't want to have a dimple. What you want to do is start off the project and work your way back and forth or in the direction of the bow. We're going to want these bows to fully dry before we flip them over and start airbrushing the other side of them. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on its side and airbrush the edges. So when assembling the bow, all that's really going to be visible is going to be the edges and the top. So doing the bottom, you don't necessarily have to, but I feel it just completes the entire project in case one side looks a little better than the other. 60 more to go. I can't believe how gorgeous these ribbons came out. I'm gonna assemble them on a cake and make a beautiful bow. softened fondant just add a little couple of drops of water to it to make it easier for the bow to slide into for the next ones we're going to try to place them in between but don't worry it won't quite line up perfect You are the cake guy, that is for sure. Eddie, that's amazing. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. That's beautiful.